You know, there's a few music related terms that people still use every day that really need to be retired because they just don't make sense anymore. Can we all agree that the idea of leaking an album is pretty much meaningless now? Seriously, if the band decides to stream the album in its entirety via NPR or Spin or iTunes or whatever it is, that's not leaking the album. That's posting it before it comes out officially. The idea of leaking an album is really a pre-iTunes or whatever sort of idea. Basically, a CD or a cassette copy of the new album would make its way from friend to friend until somebody at a radio station got their hands on it, and then they'd play the song well before it was supposed to be out. That was what it meant for an album to leak, when it happened without the band's consent. I know it sounds all cool and exclusive to call it a leaked album, but that's just not what it is. As almost every new release these days gets previewed in full somewhere on the internet and the band is behind it. So let's just start calling it what it is, an advanced streaming of the new album before you can pay to download it. Next up, can we please let the term EDM go, please? I mean, to me, this one is pretty much on par with when the industry came up with the term grunge because they didn't want to call that music what it was at the beginning of the 90s, punk rock. Dance music is no new thing. Electronic music is no new thing. Electronic music that you can dance to is no new thing. In fact, electronic dance music goes all the way back to the 1970s. And since then, we've pretty much all settled on just calling it electronica. Calling it EDM is almost annoyingly vague in terms of describing what's actually going on in the music, as the subgenres in the world of electronic music are massive, and nearly every one of them is danceable, but in different ways. Taking all that into account, a term electronic dance music is a bit redundant. So take some time to learn the differences between house and techno and trance and ambient and dub and jungle and drum and bass and whatever it is. And let's all do our part to bury this stupid industry created term. Another term we really need to stop using was actually a replacement word for one that might have actually been worse. In the late 90s and the early aughts, everybody liked putting the word new as in NU in front of a ton of genres. Thankfully, the idea of new whatever faded, but it was replaced by another term that made even less sense progressive. Progressive house and progressive metal are certainly the first two that come to mind because they're the most widely used, but you can find this word being slapped onto music all across the board. Now, in theory, all music is progressive in some way or another, unless you're a cover band that plays the other stuff note by note exactly. Music is constantly moving forward in some direction, though sometimes you might not see it until it's gotten there. And yes, I know the term prog rock was massively important in the end of the 60s and the 70s, but here's the difference there. The bands and type of music that it applied to back then had a very similar and very distinctive sound. And you can sort of see it in the same way that people lump so many bands into alt-rock during the mid-90s. Nowadays, the term prog or progressive seems to get slapped onto pretty much anything. And if you Google things like progressive metal, you will see such a wide range in sounds of the bands represented, it will make your head spin. And it shows that it's pretty much a useless term as it doesn't lead you to any specific sound. So why don't we let this one go the same way as new and just kill it? Finally, I'm going to nitpick here because this one drives me nuts. Can we please stop wasting the printing time and the cost to put a sticker or a piece of paper and vinyl that says digital download included with this record. I mean, I'm gonna make this simple. Unless the record company in question is run by a complete bunch of jerks, then this should be a no brainer. If you're buying the vinyl, you're buying the album. It's that easy. You should not have to pay extra for some digital download of the same record. This sort of greed is what is absolutely killing the music industry. So why don't we all agree to this new standard and stop having to advertise it? Much like the world of music, the terminology used to refer to it is always progressing. So as a collective group of music fans, Let's do our part as we move forward and get rid of these old, outdated terms and approaches. Oh!